desenlace absolutamente estremecedor en el que Isabel vuelve a encerrarse en su infierno cotidiano. Antes de empezar a charlar con los invitados de esta noche sobre la película que acabamos de ver, Calle Mayor, vamos a escuchar a Beth Schibler, la protagonista de la película, que nos recibe en su casa de Londres y va a compartir con nosotros un montón de cosas, un montón de recuerdos sobre aquel rodaje. Vamos a escucharla. My memories of that and of the work with him were all wonderful. The, the, when I say some terrible memories, that's when he was arrested, which was during the shooting. And that, of course, was a big drama. It was a big drama for the film, which is true, but mainly it was a serious danger in his own life. The producer was doing his best to talk to people, do whatever he was trying to do to get him out. But of course, he also wanted the film to continue. And he was losing money every day. Georges Semprun was in Paris, and a friend spoke to him, and he said, no, 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 she should just don't, she mustn't shoot with anybody else. She must sit quietly and just wait, and then the, that will be more effective. So that's what I did. Me miré al espejo y dije, Isabel. No tienes novio. <laughs> y ni de tenerlo. Everything conspired to keep her down, to repress her. It wasn't just the church. It wasn't just the society. It wasn't just her own. Uh, that there was something in her character that was more than... She didn't want just that. She wanted something else, but she didn't know what it was. Eres feliz. Demasiado feliz. The fact of her being Spanish and not... Uh, from New Jersey. Uh, I thought I had to be a bit careful not to make too many American movements. Uh, but I also thought, looking around, that I wasn't going to try to make Spanish gestures. I, I wasn't going to do an imitation of what I could see. Uh, I was had to work from, um, well, it sounds pretentious now, but like from her soul, from her Uh, particular self. There was only one scene uh, when I'm, when, that we reshot, we had to do again. And it's when I'm on the bed in my little cotton nightgown and I'm saying his name all the time. What? It was perfectly pleasant, lovely shooting and fun even. And um, then we had to reshoot it and I said, why? And he said, because you look too pretty. And of course, I was very upset. I was very <laughs> unhappy. <laughs> And uh, so um, uh, when we were shot it, if I had to say one thing, um, I would have to say his, the intensity of his commitment to what he was doing, uh, which was very good for us, very good for the actors. It makes you really pay attention. So, I mean, it was just a good experience in my life and in my work. Muchas gracias.